plus a B. All right. Um, I just kind of wanted to do this uh, video real quick, showing you my altar uh, before Yule. Uh, been super busy. Um, so much going on. If it's not events, then it's friends, family, and of course the inevitable overtime at work. Because everybody wants this time of year off, so guess who goes to work? I even have overtime tonight, so I want to do this video real quick. Alright, I will get to the altar now. Okay, my arrangement for my Yule altar. Up, uh, starting at the window, I have my Yule flag with um, a card that was sent to me by our friend and then down at the altar I have several things going on um, but strangely I haven't found everything that I normally <clears throat> sorry my voice is a little weird today um, I haven't found everything that I normally put out I have but I'll just start for the, what I have so I have a tree, and let's see if I can get out of the glare. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, I have my tree, and on it has um, a few things, not very many. Most of my stuff is still boxed up missing in places. But I have my Dalla horses, I have this wonderful little fairy um, I have my uh, Lucia dancer but uh, I'm still missing uh, Saint Lucia and the star child that go with that but so I'm not quite sure I have my best friend and my myself and my best friend uh, were turned into ornaments I have a shedded deer horn down there to represent the masculine. Um, I just have a gnome hanging out in the back. <laughs> I have my, um, let's see, I have my candle set up. I have, those are also deer. I got those from the dollar store this year. I thought they were super cute and would work really well with my altar. Um, my star, I usually keep that up year round as a, just a house decoration, but I really like it because it's in gold because this is of course welcoming back the sun. So I have my sun over here. It's really hard to tell. I got the light coming in on with my altar at a weird angle. So I'm Probably not the best time of day to be filming this. And then I have another little um, ornament for the sun. I haven't painted it. It's going to be a stark, um, a sunlight catcher, whatever. So this is the plastic ones. I prefer the ones you bake yourself, but I don't have an oven. So I thought I'd get this and then put it up in the window once I finish coloring it in to Welcome back the sun. For divination, I have my crystal ball. Um, yeah, because uh, this time of year you spend a lot of time indoors. So a lot of things are self-reflection. And I have my three witches uh, hanging. This one, unfortunately, the base didn't make it when I moved. So I'm going to have to glue her base, fix that. Um, I have a, another candle. I have some jewelry that I wanted to bless um, so that I can wear it during the festivities of this, uh, this year. I have my journals. So this one I like to write in um, kind of like a bucket list or things that I wish to accomplish in the new year. And basically this is similar. Um, this is a pocket version. Um, I keep this with me um, in my pocket or in my purse. So if something comes to me that I need to write down that um, I want to remember, 
I have that with me. So I have a moonstone, of course, the longest night of the year. Can't not charge my moonstone. And I have some of my kitchen witchery items out for blessing. And I have the grasshopper because I rem I'm always reminded of that uh, fable of the grasshopper and the ants. I love that. Where it's constantly reminding us that we can't just, um, we do need to prepare for the, for not just winter, but for, we need to prepare for our future and keep that in mind when we are out and about and not just ignore everything. We have responsibilities. And also, with I like with the ants because they did help the grasshopper and didn't just let him die. So, you know, kindness going on. I have my, um, the evil eye, which I like to get charged on my altar for this. And then it will be hung up in my house since I don't have a lot of stuff ready for hanging. I like to get everything blessed before I actually hang it on my walls. My walls are pretty bare still. Now this is a candle holder. This is an old one. It's a, it's a Swedish candle holder. Um, I still have to look for my candles. Only certain sizes fit in this. And I do have some. I just haven't found them right now. Anyway, I'm hoping to find that so that I can use that for um, the my, my ritual for bringing back the light. And another little guy I like. This is for sending messages off. I going to write um, my own little prayer off. Now, I always incorporate with my best friend because she did pass through the veil several years ago and I like to keep her in my thoughts. So um, hopefully this little guy will send her some of my thoughts for this next year. And let's see, was that about it? I mean, I got incense over there um i have a, a ornament for oh it's not focusing very well but anyway that was for the solar eclipse i went out to see a friend and witnessed that in 2017 which i liked i like the shape of this ornament because it's a star i thought it looked well with my uh, tree and yeah I think that's about it I mean um, I, I still think I'm going to embellish on to my son a little bit I think I'm gonna write welcome back on there but yeah so not much to it most of my stuff is still missing um, oh I did forget something okay uh, my Yule log um, at Sacred Circle, we all put down um, our our manifestations that we wish to do for the, uh, bring into being for the next year, and we wrote them down on our paper. And when we were at Sacred Circle, um, I really enjoy going to the, the ladies are just wonderful, and we meet on the new moon, so we always release. Um, kind of it, it's very refreshing to kind of recharge and release our burdens and just start fresh with new intentions so I love going and we kind of all made those last time and to add to our altars so um, basically this is it it's kind of simple um, but uh, I'm not, not gonna have much time to do much else this year Oh, there is one other thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm smelling it, but you can't smell it because you're on camera. Um, I made these uh, uh, cinnamon ornaments that are still, they're, they're, they're pretty much dry, but I haven't decorated them yet. So I have owls, moons, tree, uh, of course, acorn. Uh, my friend convinced me to do a witch. And I have a wreath, uh, 
Oh, that's a cat that's upside down. And of course, see a little gingerbread man because I actually want to make, decorate them all and then put them, some of them were meant to be um, altar pieces and others were meant to be ha hanged up or hung up, sorry. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share and thank you for, I guess, watching. <laughs> And uh, is there, if there's anything that uh, you uh, like to do for yours, I would love to hear it. So just definitely send me a message or put it down in the comments below if you wish. Because I'm always fascinated with what other people do for their um, rituals during the holidays. And of course, as always, blessed be.